In this video, we're gonna use the famous Ebbinghaus forgetting curve and some simple math to show you why as a student you should do your homework and review on a regular basis. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, let's briefly talk about the Ebbinghaus forgetting curve. It is a graph that shows how your memory decreases over time. So the y-axis, the vertical axis, is how much information you still remember, and the x-axis is the time. You can see after only 20 minutes, you only remember about 55% of the information. And after only one day, that decreased to about 30%. And after that, it decreased slow, slower to about 20% at 31 uh, days. And after that, I think you, you still uh, retain uh, that 20% of the information. This actually looks quite scary. This means for students who don't do their homework, after one day, they only remember 30% of the lesson. And if they don't do any review at all, eventually they only remember 20% of the information. It's almost no difference than they never learned the lesson. So those are the three things we learned from this graph. Let's see how much a difference will reviews make. So this graph shows you the relationship between your memory and how many times you review. This curve is when you don't do any review, no review, which is the same curve as we just talked about. So your memory decreased to about 20% at the end, and it decreased uh, dramatically in the beginning. However, if you do one review, this curve represents the curve after you do one review. And you can see, right after you review it, your memory goes back up to 100%, but it will still decrease. However, it will only will decrease to about 40%. By the way, uh, the graph is not drawn to scale. This is about 40%. And for most of our students, doing one review basically means after you learned the new lesson, you just do the homework for the lesson. That counts as one review. And if you do two reviews, this curve represents two reviews. Again, your memory goes back up to 100% right after the review, and it will decrease over time. However, this time, it will decrease to about 60%. What if you do three reviews? This curve represents three reviews. The memory goes back, to, uh, goes back up to 100%, then it decreases to almost 90%. This tells us if you do three reviews, and then if, even if you don't review for the rest of your life, you will still remember 90% of the information. That's a big difference. So you can learn from the graph that the more you review, the more information you are able to retain, which is the obvious fact. There is also one more thing you can learn from the graph. It is the more you review, the slower you will forget the information. So if you look at the curve for no review, it is a very steep decrease, very steep slope. And compared to one review, two review, not to mention three reviews. If you look at the three review curve, it is almost a flat, which means you forget at a much slower rate. So with reviews, not only you can remember more information, but also you forget at a much smaller rate. All those will contribute to retaining the information. Now, let's do a thought experiment and explore just the difference between no review and one review. 
So again, for our students, it's like the difference between you don't do your homework and you do your homework. And we assume, first of all, on average, we learn a new topic every other day because we will have labs, we will have quiz and tests. So it's not like we're going to learn a new topic, a new lesson every day. So let's say we learn a new topic every other day. And we also assume if there is no review, you forget 25% of the information every day. And at the end, you still retain about 20% of the information. And we're being really conservative and optimistic. Because according to the curve, if you recall, you almost forget 70% of the information by the first day. But we're being really uh, optimistic. We say you have really good memory, you only forget 25% of the information every day. And also, we assume if there is only one review, right after review, you recover 100% of the information. And then you forget 15% of the information every day compared to 25%. Because according to the uh, chart we just talked about, uh, with one review, you forget at a uh, less uh, at a smaller rate and at the end you're still able to retain 40% uh, of, of the information all right so based on those assumptions let's do the thought experiment so the top chart represent a student that doesn't do his homework and the bottom chart represent a student that does his homework Let's see the difference. So let's say on day one, uh, we learned a new lesson, topic one. And as the student learned it, he knows 100% of topic one. However, because he doesn't do his homework, by day two, he only remembers 75% of topic one. And this is based on our assumption that uh, his memory decreased by 25% every day if he doesn't do his homework, right? And by day three, we also have to learn another topic, topic two. And because he doesn't do any reviews, so topic one keeps decreasing by 25%. So he now only remembers 50% uh, 50 of topic one. And as he learned topic two, Let's say he still remembers 100% of topic two, but since he doesn't do his homework by day four, topic one now decreased to 25% and topic two decreased to 75%. And by day five, there's another topic to be learned, topic three, and topic one decreased to the minimum 20%. And topic two keeps decreasing by 25%, then it goes to 50%. And topic three, let's say still as he learned it, he knows 100%. And it comes the weekend. So for topic one, he still knows 20%. Topic two keeps decreasing by 25%. So he knows only 25% of topic two now. Topic 3 decreased by 25% becomes 75%. And by day 7, topic 1, 20%. Topic 2, 20%. Topic 3 goes to 50%. So let's say by day 8, there's a quiz or test, and this is how much he remembers for each topic. And we can safely say he's busted. Now, let's take a look at how much a difference will one review make. So this is a student that does his homework right after the lesson. Topic one, as he learned it, 100%. And he also does the homework for topic one. So by day two, Topic one, he still knows 100%. And because he only does one review, right? So by day three, he will still forget about topic one, 
but at a slower rate. So let's say he only forget about 15%, which is our assumption, right? So he now knows 85% of topic one. And there's a new lesson, topic two. So as he learned it, he knows 100% of it. And he also does the homework for topic two. So by day four, topic one keeps decreasing by 15% and decrease to 70% for topic one. Topic two, because he does the homework, he still knows 100% of the topic. And by day five, he has to learn a new topic, topic three. So topic one keeps decreasing to 55%. Topic two, because he only does one review, so he will forget 15% of it, becomes 85%, and topic three is still 100%. And he also does the homework for topic three. So over the weekend, topic one keeps decreasing, but this time it decreased to 40% and it'll stay 40%. And topic two decreased by 15%, goes to 70%. Topic three, because he did the homework, so he still knows 100% of topic three. And by day seven, topic one, maintains at 40%, topic 2 goes to 55%, topic 3, 85%. So by day 8, if there's a quiz or test, he will be fine. This is how much he remembers. Compared to a student who doesn't do his homework, you can see the big difference. For topic 1, remembers 20% more. Topic 2, 35% more. Topic 3, 35% more. And you can imagine, for students who does more than one review, for example, he reviews uh, the lessons on a regular basis and he does review right before the test. So for students who review twice or three times, they almost can remember all the things they have learned and they won't forget about them. So this goes to show you the difference between you don't do your homework and you do your homework as well as you review on a regular basis.